Pardon me? Christian science. Christian science also, you're right. I knew I forgot one. I couldn't remember which one it was. Thank you. Um, the Seventh-day Adventists, right? Spiritualism. Spiritualism, yeah. A lot of this came in all at the same time, didn't it? It's like the devil knew, didn't he? He knew the time, didn't he? He had it all set up too. But you see, there was this little company that even though this great disappointment happened and the Lord didn't come, they dug in. <coughs> they dug in. And they searched the scriptures. And they, what came out of it was God birthed this last day church, the seventh day Adventist. And we have a message to carry, to carry to the world. And it is this day of atonement message. Isn't it? I mean, we have, we have something totally different. You know, it's not just about dying and meeting God after death. It's about living right now for the Lord Jesus Christ in this flesh. Sinless. Think about that. We can overcome the same way Jesus Christ overcome, by His faith. Listen, if we die this death every morning, that He died for us, then what do we do? Then we're alive in His life. Right? What do you think would happen if we truly lived this way? This church would go on fire, wouldn't it? The people would be changed. We could go home. The bride had made herself ready. Period. It's just that simple. But why do we try to make it so difficult? I really don't know. Is it we don't believe enough? Is that what it is? Do we get caught up in the trinkets of the world? What is it for you? I don't know. I get busy. I know what it is for me. I just I just get busy. <coughs> Stupid. <coughs> really? I run around like a chicken with my head cut off most of the time. I've got 15 irons in the fire, you know? I'm pulling one out, i got three more to put in there. I don't know whether I'm coming or I'm going half the time. I really don't. It's, it's ridiculous. And I think about Martin Luther. It says, you know, if he didn't spend three hours on his knees every morning, he couldn't get anything done. Nothing. Think about that. Three hours. I don't know how much time you spend on your knees in the morning, but I'm sure that they three hours for me. Three hours. And he couldn't get nothing done. I want to challenge you guys. I want to challenge you guys to step back and take a look at Jesus and look at the cross and realize what this whole world and what this life is all about. Let us, let us stop getting caught up in this carnival ride. I mean, let's get off. Let's get, out, let's get out of this thinking part of the ride and, and walk away from it. Really. Lay our junk all down at the altar and believe this message that God has for us. And just be changed. It's really that simple. The devil tries to make it so difficult. Listen, you couldn't, you couldn't devise this plan that God came up with. This is too awesome. It's too wonderful. Your work is to believe. Think about that. Believe. And in believing, you listen intently, don't you? Because you have a high respect for your commander-in-chief who died for you. That's all this is about. Every single day. We have an amazing church that we belong to. God has raised this church up to finish this job, and it will finish this job. With or, without, with or without us as individuals. But I think it's a mighty calling. You know, every year I get a little bit older. I think about Bob. He's, Bob's looking at me and saying, yeah, you get older. <laughs> but we have a job to prepare this younger generation. If we're older, if we're younger, we need to take a hold of the reins. This thing needs to finish. It needs to wrap up. The Lord's wanting this thing done. Brothers and sisters, I love you all. I hope and pray that you 
should look to Jesus for all your sustenance. Because everything in this world is just... There's not even a word that I want to use right now. It's just stale. It's like stale bread. It's no good. It's rotten. It's green. Moldy. Our closing song is 5, 6, 7.